Hi there, I'm John, aka Graffiti, and I'm a 3D environment artist in the games industry. This video series shows my approach to environment art creation with the ArtStation Challenge brief Beyond Human. Each video is a live stream capture and doesn't contain any music. I suggest putting some on, increasing the speed of the videos and playing them in the background while doing some of your own work. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and if you want to see me create environment art live, please tune into my Twitch channel. You can also follow me on social media. Enjoy! How is it? Is it too loud? It might be too loud. There we go. That's funny, um, I just did a whole, I just relayed a whole lot of what I'm up to, what I'm doing. Mic wasn't even turned on. Classic. Uh, <laughs> it's been a, a long few days. Um, so I'll recap now, uh, seeing as though, although quicker this time. Uh, this, okay, so this is where I got to last time. Dropping everything in, um, filling out more of this top bit, getting in materials and such, and getting just uh, slapping stuff on other things just so that it was that it was in and updatable. Um, oops. Uh, and then this is my kind of asset list for what I'm um, kind of keeping track of everything. Um, so. The last couple of days I've managed to do a lot of the props, do a first pass. They need UV in, but they're pretty good to go. I've got I've made some changes to some other things, so I need to re-import them. Um, all that jazz. Um, right now, so in this stream we're going to be doing a lot of back and forth in, I think, on getting stuff out, getting stuff in getting new textures out, getting new textures in, setting up new, new materials, getting them on stuff, checking stuff, that kind of thing. Yes, everyone loves a good spreadsheet. Um, yeah, so I'm just starting. So the last thing I did was I was just getting this building, doing the columns for these. So I'm just gonna finish doing this building and this sits at the very back of the image. Uh, so this building, you know, right in here. Um, so I'm gonna be doing that first. Hopefully it won't take me that long because it doesn't need to be that high res. Um, yeah, uh, so how's this made up? That's one thing, I don't want it to be one thing. So yeah, how's your um, environment going? Um, making progress? Not making progress. I had a bit of a panic the other day when it's like you complete some work and then you put it online, post an update, and then you look at other people who are doing the same scene as you, and you're just like, oh, I've got so much to do still. A little soul destroying, I must admit. Okay, I'm going to tweak it slightly. Maybe this needs to have more subdivisions. Okay, so that's one, that would, that would be one, that's one, that's one. Actually, you know what, let's just take it out of this. This, 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 this. Copy, paste. the reuse. Bridge. I don't suppose the, oh the chat is coming up, can you actually, I wonder if it's in, it doesn't seem that visible. Maybe the font's too small. Uh, in one occasion, the game is spreadsheets in space. But sometimes, yeah, yeah do it. Well, I'm gonna be here for, well, however long. Um, yeah, so work away, and I'll also need your unreal help, get it, 
unreal and it's help, but it's also unreal help. Sorry. Um, later, because um, I'm sure I will. Lighting, you know. Right. So the Discord, brilliant action, brilliant. Um, yes, excellent. Uh, I don't know if you have you posted anything action. Um, I haven't been on it um, apart from today, but I was basically spamming Helio for neon signs. Um, too small on the chat. Can I change this? base and some UVs. Great! <laughs> Also finished Horizon Zero Door uh, the weekend, and it was epic. I know um, Healy and I were talking about that on the last stream, but now I can say I've finished it, and boy, is that a great game! SimCity build it. Build SimCity. I bet. I think 2000 was the last one I played. SimCity 2000. Oh, it was great. Hey, Major, how you doing? <laughs> what up, nerds? <laughs> um, 
but I, I mean, I, I, um, I should have done a version of this, really. Um, isn't City Skyline meant to be better, though? We're ready for another crash. Let's see. Ooh. Screwing up the bottom ones. Select, select. Whoa. Boom. Am I right? Oh yes, the rifle. Yeah, good. Um, just cracking on. Managed to get through quite a lot of assets um, over the last couple of days in terms of props. So just trying to keep up the speed, really keep up the pace. Um, I know I've done a hell of a lot of modelling on this so far. Um, that's all fine, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, and I need to be moving into a uh, more of a texturing bit, really, um, and shading. And I'm so close to being there. And hopefully, once I'm in that position, um, I can um, just focus on that, knowing that I've done a lot of the uh, prop work. Which I will have will be in by then. Oh come on. Okay. Longer. Longer. Yeah, I was saying to uh, Angel before, it's kind of like you do. Well, for me, I was doing an update and then looking at everyone else's progress and just going, oh my god, I've got so much to do still. So, just trying to hopefully be as fast as humanly possible on this. Cool. Get these up now. Save. Duplicate, clone, apply tool. Those are here. What was that that just popped up? Who even knows? Um, um, what would you say, how much percent you are done with your project? Oh, 
half or in the next after the next day I think I'll be halfway yeah uh, I'm probably you know what I'm probably a little over halfway but that might be a little optimistic I think just because yes I've done the most of the UV in yes I've set up the scenes yes I've you know put all the meshes where they should be but I think lighting and refining the textures is going to be a bit of a bitch for me um, so that's why I, th I yeah I would say I'd say I was 50 percent Let's get rid of these. So let's see what's going on. Okay, so he's got these squares on it. Okay, so let's grab them. have a lot of time or our recent grades also got a new haircut yes got a new haircut it was getting a little long and emphasizing my twin peaks hence why the haircut um, and yes I mean I think come on I think the um, it's these challenges are ideal for grads because it gives you quite a lot of exposure and gives you an actual time limit to stick to um, which is great for you know potential um, employers looking at how you handle work and they can see an update of what you're doing that kind of thing um, so if you're a recent grad I think it's it's really good and at that time as well if you're recently graduated you have got well depending on what, what you're doing and what have you, I mean, everyone's different, but generally you'll have a lot of spare time. Whereas I'm at the moment having to work pretty much every night, um, which is uh, interesting. I haven't done this kind of thing for a while, but I want to do a good job, so I have to put the time in. Um, Yeah, but yeah, I think if you're a graduate, I think even even if you're not a graduate, I think even if you're studying or you want to learn more um, and you've got time, then I do think this is it's a great way of getting, you know, doing a work in progress thread, thread connecting with the community and also um, kicking out finished pieces. So I want to see you doing the next one, Major, <laughs> whether you like it or not. <laughs> that reminds me, I need to check in with a mate of mine who's doing the character one and see how he's getting on. I think as time goes on, you kind of get lost in what you're doing and forget what everyone else is doing. students and his work yeah we want to get into the top three for that challenge it's pretty hard if you're not pro oh there are so many insanely times yes there are a lot of talented people and it's not all about getting into 
the top position. What's I would say what's more important is that you're learning new stuff from the challenges that you do. Um, there's always a, there will always be someone that's better than you. You, you just can't get away from that. Um, and you can either work against them or work with them. So, for example, I asked uh, Marika and Martin, who are also doing the scene, what if they had any tips on lighting, just because uh, I don't have much experience doing lighting. Um, and they were they were really helpful. I need to you know go back and read through what they suggested and just apply it. Um, did that? Oh, sorry, wrong one. Pack. There we go. Um, yeah. So oh god damn it. So I think as long as you're willing to you know sacrifice the time to do the work, then you'll be getting something out of it. And yeah, I think like everyone's got different lives. Everyone's got different priorities. You just got to put in what you what you can do, and that's all you can do. Um, actually, I had another point. What was it? Uh, no, that was it. Top three. I think one of the people was taking Oh yeah, that's that's huge. Um, the the amount of talent but then like, i just look at art station now and it's quite overwhelming um like the the talent that's on there but you kind of got to go right well that's that i don't know anything about them they could be i don't know different points in their lives that kind of thing um what can i do what do i want to to do um that's really annoying. Uh, right, can I go from here? We can. You've just got to not let it overwhelm you, that's all. Right, you don't see any of them, so let's get rid of them. Okay. So these are all connected. Okay. Wrong loop. Loop that way. Why is it? Oh, that's at the top and bottom. Okay. Loop. Let's see now. Let's just get a really long cube. That will just be a damn sight easier.
Okay, save this before it crashes again. Session slow, but with so many pieces, it just blows together. I can't for life of me spell together. <laughs> yeah, it, it does all blow together. And sometimes you have to just leave it and you have to go, because it's torturous as well when these people are just kicking out amazing assets all the time, amazing scenes. You've got to uh, just um, know when to go, you know what, I'm not looking to stay. Because it's disheartening, especially when you first start out. Because you just think, am I actually good enough? I mean, hell, even when I'm at work now, sometimes it's just like, I just think, oh, Jesus, I, I think this is the right way. I don't know if it's the right way. I'm going to have to see if it's the right way. It's the wrong way. But there's no way of... You, you just got to not compare to anyone else. You just got to think, this is me. I'm just going to do it. I got in. They must have employed me for a reason. That's my way of thinking. Uh, right, what's going on here? So that was the old one. Those are the new ones. in stuff and it copies and pastes it over it okay so we're back to where we were let's just grab the whole lot 3x paste and move this up Not bad. And then back to this. Ooh. So, is this the back? Yes. Go. I'm not going to worry about this wall so much, but I do need one around the base. Okay, I 
now I don't think you really see that part of the building so we'll leave it like that for the moment and this thing will just UV and we should be sorted save project something decent into my highly organized I mean, where the hell's G and H what on earth are these two E F G what on earth G ah G's the back one okay so H is there an H those are towers. Maybe it's the corner. Nope, maybe that's it. Maybe it's just. We can get rid of I. Delete. And G, we probably don't need to do any work on because it's about to be replaced. Um, or at least pushed back. So we will call this wherever it is. Ah, no, hold on. F, G, so where the piss is this? Ah, oh, sorry, there we go. Cool.
Yeah, exactly. Yes, Major. Yes. Why let it bother you? Um, and something. if the UV is right, but we can re-export it. So in stairwell, there we go. And we'll just update that. Export them. Cool. So that building H, yeah. Walkways. Walk this way. I think this will just be a UV thing more than anything. That's right, a normal thing. This jazz needs exporting, or rather, it needs UV in and then exporting. Or we could just export. Oh, just export it. We'll just export them now, and then we'll just update them. updated props definitely look more like assets now than they did just gonna go through and So started on some debris. So I've got some cables. In fact, I can sort these out now as well. So then, got some boxes, general debris. But I think I'm most impressed with my debris layout. So basically, um, I've got all these different pieces. Let's turn the cables off. So, a bit of metal perhaps, uh, a sheet of some kind, little rocks, that kind of thing, a stick. And what I do is, they're all separate meshes, and then I just, uh, so I make a um, square, so a grid, and then I put particles on it, which you can see here. And then I put a replicator on that with those assets and you'll see now the processor might go a bit mental. 
I'm going to put on this one. We've got instant, instant debris. So I'm going to use, I mean, they've got random rotation on at the moment. That's why they're all skew with um, sticking into the ground and stuff, but that, that's fine. And there's probably a bit too much right now on this square. But you just go out and thin it, thin it all by mesh selecting and stuff like that. And um, that will give me a lot of my debris, which would be pretty cool. Um, yeah, so uh, hopefully when that's all textured up, or with tiling textures or what have you, it'll, it'll look quite cool uh, to have it scattered around. Um, this is kind of kind of how I do my, um, whenever I do grass, like grass clumps, I'll replicate them and then do a projection of that. Um, it just means that you've got complete control and it doesn't waste that much, well, it doesn't waste any time sculpting um, and you're getting the replicator to do all the work. Um, so I'll be doing that at some point um yes so background building we can delete that now brill so we've got all those so let's go into ue4 now i don't know why but my lighting has screwed up again so um who knows what's going on <laughs> it looks terrible though um but let's start re-importing stuff um And then I can attach them to kind of fuse UVs and being getting Tetris. Isn't there a um, pack UVs button in 3GS Max or anything? Um, major, because that, like, if, if you can just do a pack UVs for the moment, check your normals, and then do a high low res bake in, in um, Substance Painter, you can see what needs more UV space than others. Once, why once? I only need a grass once. It's just kind of, you want to spend less time in the faffy bits, I mean, as much as you can, and more time in the, in the, all the other bits. Uh, right, so this, this, this. Uh, good, as I've been up tight. Light nap transformer stairwell what way A and B cool let's re import these. Awesome. Although I don't think my blank machine's updated. Nappe is updated. These haven't updated, but let's replace them with dumpster. Oh, that's because I need to. The car has been updated, which is good. Uh, that needs. Turning around the bank machine. I wonder why the bank machine hasn't updated. Is it called something else or it just didn't do it? Bank machine, I just didn't do it. There we go. Is it in the picture? Oh, it's 
maybe scale it down a notch, maybe we'll just do it by 0.1 conductor. This, this is quite high up. This is around here. Okay. Okay, so the dumpster, so to import dumpsters, lid and base, uh, import all, uh, so, which is the most time, I make every bolt unique or have them identical, you don't have Lurking. Look, look, look. Um, should you make every ball unique or have them make them, just make them identical for the moment? Um, I'm just going to make a blueprint, I think, for this. New blueprint actor. the center pivot, I can't remember. It's not a problem at the moment, but that's fine. So we'll save that. And then we'll update these with... Can I do it with... are a bit bigger than my block out ones. Still there will help break up the silhouette.
bit big. Well, we'll run our dude over in a minute. I've got to fix some collision. Let's screw in the camera up. But we will delete dumpster A. Just delete. And we can rename this dumpster A. Boom. Cool. Uh, right. So the car's in, the gun, those are in, this is in. in because those bolts are in. I need to import the ladder. Uh, actually, yeah, this can be a single. There we go. Rebook is what I need at the moment, it seems. Not just bake texture, more like bake, examine, rebake. Yes, well, that's what you should do anyway. Um, if you, I mean, the more you can iron out the bake, the easier it will be later on. Um, have you got Marmoset Toolbag 3? Because the baker in that is really good because it gives you a, vis a visual representation of the cage, um, the cage that it creates for you in Toolbag. Um, so you can see where your rays are coming from and where they where they end, um, which is a, is great because Substance has sliders for that, but it doesn't visualize it. Um, so you can spend a while just getting it just right. But so to also much yes, it is much faster than than Painter. But yeah, if you can get a solid bake, then you won't need to do. Um, much else. Uh, as in, sorry, you will have to do much else, more, more else, whatever the thing is, but um, it will be easier for you because you uh, will have done a lot of the legwork already. Still, I kind of hate UE, UE4's navigation. Right, what else needed to come in? Um, so what have we got? Got the stairway in. Got the ladder in. How the heck did I get the walkways in? Yes. Uh, what came in here? So, well, they can all be reimported later. I need to do all this. So let's just update some materials now. So let's get a painter and let's save this. And let's get painter open. So I've, because of I expanded the top area with all these girders and such, I had to make some new materials to go along with that and, you know, refine. Because I think before I, need, I had lots of, I had a, a worn brick and a really worn brick and I had a really fine dirt and I had a really coarse dirt and I've just kind of scrapped all of the lesser ones and kept the uh, the ones that I actually need. Substances, texture tests, 1.8 gigs, yes that's fine. Um, yeah so hopefully we can kick out a lot of these. Do you have any knowledge of 3ds Max? No but Major's really good at it. That's what he uses so yeah. Ask him. Fire away. Just put it on the chat. God, the, the bit rate is jumping around all over the place. Right, so here we are. I, I also, um, so I had flat planes before, and I've just given them a side and re would them just because oh, everything navigates differently. Um, I could then use, you know, bait textures to help influence um, generators. 
So what I've got now is I've just got a normal asphalt, which I will put cracks in and things later on. Um, a normal brick, a painted brick, um, my coarse debris, which just looks like shit at the moment. I've got two irons, uh, like a worn and a further worn one. I've got smooth concrete, uh, cracked concrete that we had before. Uh, what's this? I think that's the steel, base steel. Dirty steel, greasy steel. Then here I've got a painted metal. Um, some of like some of these, so these three are default from Substance Source. I haven't tweaked them yet. I've got a rust. I've got rubber. Uh, don't know what that is. I think that's just spare. Oh, that will be paper, I think, for the um, all the stuff on the walls. I've got a dirty glass, and then I've got this battered copper, which will be for the pipes, um, which I quite like. I, I hope it works well in engines. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to export all of these, and then gradually get them into engine. Um, just check that the UE packers using right so I need to update these. I need to add a grey and put the height in it. And we don't want it from mesh, we want it from a texture set. Which I think is capital T. Oh, actually I don't think it is. Texture set, I think it's like that. Yes, it is. Uh, I'm going to get rid of that for the moment. RGB, RGB, and that's grey. I think that's right. That's all I need. Um, and then we can export. We may as well export everything again. Ah, one's a trim plate in. Right, so I don't need that yet. I don't need the paper yet. Everything else I do need. And uh, we want this to go to non human exports. Select. And we'll let this do its job. Uh, depends on what I want to add back on which chosen. Match rendering output setup, rendering according to the image size. Plane or something that made it all slope. Oh, you want to match the camera to it? Okay. Let's have a look. Brill. Right, so this might be a problem. It's cooked in the normals. Well, that's not what we want. So we just need to update our mesh. Uh, so I think it's ground is grid swatches four. Yep. way to do this is to copy these, paste them on a new layer, delete, and then do a basic UV. Ooh. Barycentric balls, right? Okay, so that's not going to work. Uh, also, these need to be. Grab these, copy and paste them, then locally to each one. Pull them out. And then do So now I need 
need to just select these. And hopefully that hasn't broken anything. Nope, that's good. Uh, what might do? So is this handy? Yes, there we go. Excellent. So now, uh, delete that. Grid swatches, cubes, grid swatches. Please. And they are the same materials. Cool. Save that and we'll export this OBJ to objects and then we'll re import this. of each other. So I need to fix that. Cool. Or it's triangulating some. Let's do a mesh clean up. Ah, load out top. The camera arch stuff in Max is on your camera. Oh, Brill. Try setting them. Brill. Wow. Load out top. Great answer there for your action. Out of nowhere. That'd be sexy pipe time again. <laughs> almost, you know. Almost. I've got a new material for it, a new texture. Is there another Helio in here? Maybe it's the real Helio. I've just been taking talking to an imposter all this time. Although that wouldn't match up with the work, the stuff he's been sending me. Okay. How's this? Still fucked. No, it's not fucked. It's because of this is fucked. No, yeah, no. So I reckon that's because... Actually, what if I just rebake these? If I add this, remove this... Bagel texture sets. Let's see what happens. This might take some time. 
So I'm going to just look. I need to tell me if I can be useful. Ta. Ah, well, I mean, thanks for looking. Um, good old lurkers. Control on you, bro. You have a clone that I need. I don't know about. <laughs> Do you or do I? Oh, thanks, Loadout. Appreciate it. Um, have you? Is this the first one you've been on, or I'm guessing you've been on the others? And how did you find it? Did you find it through ArtStation? The chat's over there. That's why I keep looking. Um, yeah, It'd be great to know like where I'm popping up. Taking a while. The the dynasty. Oh, Brill. Oh, Brill. Yeah, that was a couple of weeks ago. Really grateful for to Dynasty for posting it up there. Um, I mean, I did get my biggest spike ever that that day. I think. Or or I think it was Uni actually. Uni Dev. After her stream, that was like mental. The figures. Don't think I'll get that anytime soon. Um, but yeah, glad you like it. Um, I enjoy doing them, and it, you know, encourages me to work as well. Which I've found easier knowing like now that there's more people in the chat. Sure. <laughs> yeah, she did drop like 300 people. It was insane. Um, right. It's, it's funny that you say that you're, you're going to start now. Uh, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's funny because um, Major asked me, um, Major Washington asked me if I, um, how far through do I think I am? And I said I'm about 50%. So <laughs> I would do what I'm doing and do as many tiling textures as possible. Oh, sorry, I'll rephrase that. Use tiling textures as much as possible because that way you don't have to worry about making an asset, making a high, lo uh, a high and a low asset, baking it down, getting a material working on it, spending time on one asset, getting it working, and then realize that you've got a thousand others to do. Um, I would probably try and get like your block out done super fast and get it in and get it lit. Um, I think that's where maybe I'm falling down a bit. Well, definitely where I'm falling down is that um, I need more lighting. Uh, I should have done some more lighting, but it's not my uh, strongest area. And why the hell? I think it's because of the generators I'm using. It must be. For brick. Brick painted. Let's have a look. I know. Oh, as if it just needed... You just click on it. Click on and off it. As if. Go through and just check these. Yeah, so use tiling textures as much as possible. That'd be one thing I would say. Um, just like, can I get rid of that? Arrows. I suppose once it's in, it's in. Um, Cool, okay, so that should be working a bit better now. Cool. And we'll just do an export textures again. And all those ones again. Uh, same place. Here we pack those right. Cool, and we'll wait for all of that. Um, Make pipes, lots of pipes. 
It's about 20%. <laughs> to trick you. Yeah, I've managed to nail the block over the last few, just haven't got around to posting up anything yet. Thanks for the time. Yeah, so tiling texture, I think decals as well, even though I haven't really got any experiences in decals. Um, si the signs is going to be my next big one. Oh yeah, they're, they're look looking much better. Brill! Right, let's get these in. Uh, Textures import. Right. So what's the date today? Fifteenth. So let's just grab all these. Some of them will already be in, I think. Do you want to rewrite this? Yes to all. About to write. Yes to all. Cool, okay. All kinds of ones in now. Um, <laughs> um, 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 what else will I say as a tip? Uh, uh, I've, to be honest, if you can use the tie-in texture as much as possible, and so a lot of this geometry I created was from my block out, and I won't be changing it. If anything, I'll just be updating the, the normals and the UVs. Um, set up a master material in um, Unreal, so my master material I'll be using for pretty much everything I reckon is this one, is it this one? With tint. That doesn't look like the one I used. Uh, it's mast layer. Mm, don't tell me I haven't brought it in yet. Oh no, this might be a problem. Shit, hold on. <laughs> Which one's this using? Master layer one. Okay. So all using master. Okay, here's another one. Master. I need to clear out the ones that I'm not using really. Two layer blend. Ah, here we go. So this is my master. Jesus, this is my master material. In, I suppose, uh, no, this, I don't think this is right. Let me just save all. And then I need to dig out uh, the ones I did the other day. Um, Maybe it was all there, maybe I'm just getting confused. I'm sure I labelled them better though. So, what, give me a material instance. Metal one. Yeah, because these were all over the shop. I think these are out of date. So I am going to quit out and copy all of these over. Apart from the landscape stuff, because 
I R four twelve yeah. Before we do that, let's just grab some stuff. So grab these. Oh, the other thing I was just going to say, um, loadout, was the field of view in the UE4 viewport, it's like a fisheye, it's like a 90, and you need to probably rein that back in, because for me that's definitely an issue at the moment. It looks like I've got my my um, alleyway is quite wide, but that's down to the camera angle, um, because it's matched up to um, uh, Helios Lockout. So it should all be in the same place unless he, like, you know, fudged in Photoshop, which too honestly probably did. Right. So master one layer, two layer, so it's those ones. Here we go, this is it, this is the one. Yes, yeah, so the other thing I was gonna say action was to do a master material. Uh, so this is mine. Um, and what I mean by that is so we create this material and expose all the parameters in it um, and then we create a material instance and then we just play around with the settings so what I have done um, is for example in my what's this occlusion strength roughness so I put like sliders on the min and max for roughness, metalness and occlusion so I can kind of tweak the roughness in the engine and not have to go back and forth between painter and export. Um, yes, it's probably not the best way of doing it because that, my textures are always wrong but they're only going to be slightly wrong, hopefully. Um, yeah, cool, right, so now that I've figured that out, which one I'm actually using, I might just get rid of the other ones. So this was one of the other ones, I think, so let's just put an X in front of these that I'm not using. Okay, so we're using that, that's fine. What about this? Yeah. 
so we're using that. That's got a tint on both. Oh, don't know what that is. Anyway, am I test? Am I test? Test. Cool. Okay, so it was only one that was throwing me off. So that's fine. Okay. Right, so we've brought all of those in. Let's just update them. Uh, also, I'll need to update some UVs as well. So, two layer great material instance. One, are we putting numbers at the end? Yes. Okay, so you end up with something like this. So I want a base color input and I want the iron rugged. Iron rugged. Goes in there. Uh, height, height, normals, normals, and this thing. Why isn't this updating? Weird. Don't know why that's not updating. Oh, it is. So why aren't my textures coming in? Just the uh... no, that's still all the default stuff. Uh... What's what's going on here? Images. Try to fall smoke the heat is not the right word. Why isn't this working? Busy now. Any thoughts, Angel? It's not exposed. Let's 
So the one layer works, but the two layer fucks up. I wonder why that is. Well, we'll leave it at that for the moment, because at least then it doesn't look half bad. And I do need to sort out the UVs because it's tiling way too much at the moment, so... But for the moment we'll just... Halve this, I think. It's like a quarter. Yeah, a quarter. needs to be less than that. So I might sort these out now, it might be easier. Let's put this back on one and then just work through these assets because it needs to be done at some point. Trusses. Oh, let's go with thirty percent. See what that looks like. my spreadsheet as I go so this is gonna be quite boring stuff for a bit until I get this sorted uh, imported all the things up here Copy. paste there for the moment work it on this trash One, one in and set up. Uh, okay. Do you have an instance of this? Rusted. One. Um. Accessible, where is it? <laughs> a bit visually a bit visually pleasing as I go around going, why isn't this working? This should be working. Um iron rusted. Ooh, denty. Oh, 
Oh, not so denty anymore. <laughs> cool. Save that. That's not what I wanted. I want this. Building metal. Okay, so that would be uh, these things. Uh, where am I looking like this thing? F. Uh, rusted. Yeah, so I need to fix the EVs up on this for sure. Dating. Save. There we go. Although I don't know what's going on with this now. Because now that's showing wrong. For God's sake, why can't I undo it? There we go. Right. Yeah, that's it. That's how it should be. And I need to change all these UVs. Cool. Okay, so we'll do that now as well. What's that on F? And if you're wondering, I'm, I won't move my window over, but I'll show you the organization just to keep things in check. Data lists. Oh, pissing out, what's it called? Item list. So this is how I keep things organized. So all my Green stuff is background stuff, purple stuff is props, and blue stuff is, you know, debris, because there's going to be a lot of that. And then in each one, there's, um, so the glass is on one, and there's, yeah, you know, however many meshes you need. Um, and I've broken some bits into modular kits to go forward into. Um, but yeah, I think being organized like this is the way forward, um, especially on bigger projects. Right, so on this we need to, and scale this, let's try 30%, oh, tell you what, let's try 25%. And let's kick this out and see what happens. So the bricks are fucked because that's uh, on a low UV set number. Ain't too bad, I think. So let's just change the UV set. I need to update this one so it's better. So it's massive on everything else, but a bit more realistic, maybe, in size. Perhaps a little big still. And the concrete needs updating as well. Yeah, that's better. And on everything else, it'll be to be honest and everything else looks all right now. And 
need to go in and put my bellows in. Everything's a bit too sharp at the moment. Okay, well, we're going with 25% then. Um, so let's just kick out all the buildings first. Everything I matched everything to the right to the same UV checker for all scale at the same rate. Uh, yeah, may as well just do a thing. So this and this needs to come down to 25%. This, let's just, yeah. Don't need to bother with at the moment. Okay, so let's just re export All this. version and then I come back into a real okay so we want one all of this one two Import. Yeah, I need to do more of key shot stuff. Um, yeah, I've got it but uh, I hardly ever use it. Um, or have I got it? Maybe I've just got the trial and it's expired. That would make more sense. Um, but yeah, I've seen some of the results and it is ridiculous. And from what I see as well, easy to use. Right. So some things are working, some things are not working. Like this thing.
So what I might do actually is do a one layer brick. Uh, go through the buildings actually let's start with a or this one in fact actually screw both of them let's just get into the air duct uh, now the air duct is going to be this kind of metally material uh, all the other ones I had and I think this is probably the best one to keep on it maybe the dirty one may as well set it up uh, da, 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 da. Go through and grab all of them. God, UE4 does make this quite easy, just changing stuff on the fly. Yeah, so very shiny, but we can, can knock that down. and maybe flipped. No, it's all right. It's not flipped. Uh, so concrete can stay as it is. Um, although, is that the two layer? So I might just change that to the one layer for the moment. Uh, Doesn't have, oh, I know it does have a height. I just put on the wrong one. There we go. Brilliant. And then we 
go and put that on here. No, no, let's not do that. Let's put that on here. There we go. And with brick one, need to change those UVs, so I might do that now. Told you there was going to be a lot of to and fro in. Much better. So do that. Right, machine, so building A. Still too big, so I need to change that. And let's just put the rusty rugged iron on that one. Building A, okay. Oh man, the Noman library, that would be pretty cool. I did think about doing a, um, so you get like a, a week, is it like three days or a week or something trial, which look quite good. Seems a better match F now, which is the same height. No, it's not. So it's actually the same height. So it's fine. Maybe it just didn't export right. That's screwed then. Right. Ah, it's because these. So I must have put some of these. Oh no, it's not. It's still knackered. It seems fixed on that one. I wonder why that's like that. Map. 
who even knows? Maybe it just. Oh, wait, hold on. What if I just bring a new one in? No. Oh, that almost seems worse. Don't know. I'm gonna have to figure something out for that. Moving on though. Was it rusted that was meant to be on the buildings? Yeah. Yeah, workflow is important, I think. If you can nail the workflow, then you're, you're halfway there. I wasn't paying attention to which one was. It's not that, it's that one. That one, although that could probably do with being smooth. And, oh, I've forgotten again, is it rugged, which is, Rusted. Right, so I want to do the concrete smooth material. See, those bricks are working. Cool. And that seems to be working too. Oh, I haven't got anything for the glass yet, so I'll leave that.
So I need to move those bricks. Uh, brick rotation. Uh, what was that building called? F. We won't bother with for the moment. Um, car, we will. Stretch tastic. Stay. 